Today we're gonna to be performing a lip lift procedure in a rhinoplasty patient. The patient had a previous rhinoplasty as I like to stage these operations. I don't wanna cause blood supply issues between the scars of the upper lip lift and the rhinoplasty, so I wait at least four to six weeks in between to do it safely. The idea is simple. When I evaluate a face, I look at the hairline, the brow position, the base of the nose, and the base of the chin. I really think that the harmonious face is one third upper face, one third mid face, and one third lower face. Any disharmonies in these three numbers lead to things that we can't characterize that are not super good looking. Hi, my name is Monica Kostoff and I'm with Dr. Zelkin's office today and I'm getting a lip lift. I'll be awake during the procedure. So I'm very stoked that it's really quick and easy and it's an outpatient surgery. The fix is quite simple. The incision goes up your nostril, down to the base of your nose, and up along the sides. I do the same thing parallel to that below it, but in a way that preserves these filtral columns that we discussed earlier. With the meticulous tension-free closure, I can make as small of a scar as possible. No scar is invisible, but in the middle of a beautiful woman's face, you should be certain that I do my best to make that scar as great as possible. 